So the missile launch that seems to be quite high in damage. Yeah, so I think it counts as like a small gun and my small gun skill is very high. I think it's about 97 or 98. So next time I level up I'll probably get it to 100. Alright, I hope I can break this open. Just the thing is, if the lock breaks, then you don't really get to find out what's inside. So, you know, you don't know what you've missed out on. Yeah, I guess that's probably the annoying thing about lockpicking in this game. Well, it's the same for Skyrim. If you run out of lockpicks, you can't really force the lock in Skyrim. So, like, if you're trying to open, like, your chest or a door, then... You know, if you run out of lockpicks, then you won't find out what's inside. So you, you don't know if you've missed out on like a load of diamonds, or like a load of money. Yeah, this is a very good gun. Well, nearly any gun that I've got is really powerful. Yeah, this is just a dead end. Yeah, I've noticed that trap there, so I'll try and avoid it. Yeah, I've noticed some traps, like, kind of drop grenades from, like, the ceiling. Well, it's pretty rare, but I've seen it happen. Like, I think it happened when I was in a metro station once, but I deliberately set it off and, like, escaped the area at once. Just to see like how intense the explosion would be. No more oh, it's one of those overloads. Yeah, that's because I've got the broken steel DLC. And they're like much more powerful than the normal super mutants. <laughs> I don't know if they're more difficult than behemoths. I'd probably say they're about the same. Right, so I won't be able to move very fast. Right, I'm not going to take him down with a sword because you know he's got like a super sledge and that'll very easily take me out. So I'm going to use this weapon to like kill him. I don't think a single nuke will kill him though. Right, that's yeah, he's only lost about two thirds of his health from that. So I guess I'll have to use the minigun. Yeah, so it's 74 damage and I think you can get it up to 100 if you use Psycho and the... the, uh, Yagwai stake. Yeah, 98 XP seems like a little bit. Well, it, I mean, it doesn't seem like much for killing someone like him. But I think that's the most you get for killing an enemy. Well, I don't really have the well-rested perk. Well, you kind of get that for, like, sleeping in your own bed. So I think you have it for, like, 12 hours. And once the 12 hours is up, then you don't earn, like, extra XP. But I'd rather have extra damage than XP. But you can't really change it. But I think there's a perk where if you just sleep in any bed, then you get the well-rested perk. So yeah, I think I'll get that perk. But I think it's about level 22 or 23 when you get it. Yeah, I thought that was going to happen. That's why I had to decided to stay clear for a few seconds. Yeah, so this is Vault 87. And I think it's been abandoned for about 200 years, so I doubt there'll be any survivors in here. 
Yeah, they'll have probably been dead for about 200 years, so it'll just be some rotten corpses and there'll be some super mutants in here, I'm quite sure. Yeah, so I got 1,040 XP for that quest, so I should be nearly level 21 now. Yeah, so the next quest is finding the Garden of Eden. Yeah, so it's amazing how, like, the lights are still working down here and the door's still functional. Even though, like, it's been 200 years. Yeah, it must have used up a lot of energy down here. Well, I do know there's fishing batteries in the game. And I think that's where they take, like, large amounts of energy from, like, small objects. So, for example, I've heard, like, a cube of sugar could power a city for, like, a full year. But I don't think they've managed to, like, do it right now. But I think they're working on it. Yeah, so it's either fission or fusion. Well, fission is where, like, they have several, like, particles and the fire neutrons at them and kind of, like, well, they kind of, like, spread out and it's, like, a chain reaction. So, like, the fire uh, neutron into one particle, then it spreads out and then fires some more neutrons and then that spreads out. Yeah, I th wait, I think that's, like, what it does. And nuclear fusion is pretty much like, well, I think it occurs in stars, like in the centre of stars, so I think there's like a load of hydrogen particles, and when they're like squashed together, that makes like two hydrogen particles, which I think forms helium. And yeah, I think that's nuclear fission, um, I mean, uh, fusion. Yeah, I can't get mixed up between the two. Just they do seem a bit similar. Yeah, so I think one day we'll have like very large amounts of energy. And yeah, because Fallout trees like in the future, I think that's what they've done. So that must explain why like the lights are still working. Well, they're still like switched on. They haven't run out of power yet. And that's also probably why the fission batteries are quite expensive. Well, they're also very valuable. I think it's like about 50 caps for like one of them, but they are quite heavy as well. They're quite small, but they're quite heavy as well. Yeah, but anyway... No. Well, 87 seems like a very, you know, good place, even though there's a lot of super mutants here. But it's good to be like in an abandoned vault, you know, just to see what it's like, you know, just a place that's been completely abandoned for such a long time. Yeah, I'm going to be visiting some of our vaults as well, pretty soon, so, yeah, I'll be visiting, there's Vault 92, there's Vault 108, and there's Vault, I think it's 106, or it might be 116. Yeah, um, I think, I think there's like another vault which is mentioned on here, but it isn't like in the Fallout 3 map. I know from the very first Fallout, you're in Vault 13, but that was like, well, Fallout 1 came out about 20 years ago, I would say. So yeah, I doubt Vault 13 would be on here, and I haven't seen it. Yeah, so the very original Fallout came out ages ago, and it's like in bird's eye view of the game, and the graphics are just terrible. No offence to like the game designers. 